the fun and beautiful world of ballet. Why do you think this girl is happy? It's probably because her ballet class is both fun and beautiful. You probably watched the movie Barbie Nutcracker and thought to yourself, hmm, I wonder if I'll wear a beautiful tutu, lovely point shoes, and just dance and dance and dance forever. Well, that's how it happened to me. At the age of four, my journey began. And 20 years later, I'm still dancing and teaching the beauty of ballet. Hip hip hooray! Let's talk about the fun things that happen in a ballet class. How about playing with colorful ribbons? Throwing them up in the air. We'll probably wear butterfly wings so you guys can fly around. And we'll light up battery candles. Turn off the lights so you can dance in the dark. As you learn your stretches, we'll do it in a fun, creative way. Like this girl, balancing a ball on her forehead as she stretches her back, touching her toes to her head. It's time to dance. We'll learn a new dance routine. When I was little, a dance routine that we would do during the month of October was called the Waltzing Cats. We would show our big ears, whiskers, fur, and tail, and dance and dance and dance. Well, now it's time to learn the technique of a ballet class. This teacher is helping a student work on her fifth position arms while she keeps her backs and legs straight and points her toes. This girl is working on a stretch called the butterfly stretch. For students who are very, very young, we tell them flap your wings, flap your legs up and down. Let's be colorful butterflies and travel to a new place. And they'll call out, let's go to Paris. Let's go to New York. Let's go to Disneyland. We always tell our students, Smile, be happy, enjoy class. And all these kids have something in common. The love they have for dance and that eagerness to keep on dancing. Kids will hear in a dance class, don't worry, you'll do better next time. Or practice, 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 or Oh no, you fell down? Well, that's okay. You'll do better next time. Or, good job. Keep up the good work. You guys are beautiful dancers. We'll tell our kids, hey, be happy. Be silly. Be excited. Tell me about your day. Did you make new friends? Did you get a hundred on your test? Tell me about your friend, Kathy. And if you're sad, don't worry. We're here to listen to your problems. Not only do we show our kids how to do turns, jumps, leaps, how to do basic steps like a tendu, or a retire, or an arabesque, but we're here to tell our students, hey, you're gonna do great. We give you feedback, we show you love and respect, and we will see that in you guys. You will also make new friends and work as a team, sharing that love and respect to one another. That's what happened to me, all thanks to a wonderful teacher named Barbara Driscoll who not only showed me about ballet and love, but also to my sister, Daniela and Ana Judith. And because of her, 
many wonderful teachers are showing their students that they will go far. Like Edna, who started at a very young age, and look at her now, a beautiful dancer, dancing all the time. Dancers like Stephanie Curlo, the first dancer with a hijabi. Olivia Book, a famous ballerina who only has one arm. Or how about Madame Suzelle Poole, a dancer who never stopped dancing, even at the age of 79. All these dancers have something in common. They didn't let anything like race, gender, background, class, and more get in their way of growing, loving, and just dancing their hearts. And even though my dance teacher has passed away, her legacy will continue through me to teach and show these dancers the fun and the beauty of ballet. Thank you for watching.